You know, we're all people of the forest. And even though we have forests that are harvested and replanted regularly, each of us needs to do what we can to make sure there are forests for the future. Yep, everyone can help keep the earth green. It's easy. But how do I start? If all the office and writing paper thrown away each year were collected, it would make a 12-foot high wall from New York to Los Angeles. And besides recycling, we can pre-cycle. What's that? Pre-cycle means when you're shopping, you buy stuff that comes in packages that can be recycled, like boxes and glass bottles. Or it means that you buy things that are made from stuff that has already been recycled. See this cool purse? It's made from an old tire. These earrings were made from computer chips. And this stationery is made from an old map. Cool. And there's lots more things you can do to help keep the earth green. Like what? I'll show you. Be a paper saver! Here's what to do. You can recycle all kinds of things made of paper, like note paper, bags, newspapers, comic books, cereal boxes, shoe boxes, and junk mail. Or a bad report card. Just kidding. <laughs> it's easy. Find a place where you can stack old newspapers and get a box for collecting other kinds of paper. Yo, kid, got a quarter, got a phone home. Then, whenever you empty a cereal box or get ready to toss out a piece of paper, put it in your recycling spot. Find out where the nearest recycling center is. Or maybe your neighborhood has a curbside recycling program where they come and pick up your paper and other recyclable stuff. Every ton of recycled paper saves 1,700 gallons of water. That's about the same as filling your bathtub 35 times. What else? Just say no to bags. Did you ever stop to think how weird it is that every time we buy something, it gets put into bags? Even if it's only one thing, like a can of pop or a bag of chips. It happens all the time. Did you ever see someone walk right outside the door and throw the bag away? What a waste. And then there's that same old question, paper or plastic, paper or plastic. 100 checker survey. What's the best kind of bag to use when you go shopping? A, paper, B, plastic, C, cloth. And the answer is? D, all of the above. Reuse any kind of bag. Next time you buy something small, tell the clerk you don't need a bag. Just say, no thanks, I brought my own bag. It's cool to bring your own bag when you go shopping. A backpack is a great idea. What's next? Plant a tree. Did you know the average American uses about seven trees each year? That's a lot. But guess what, what? what you can do? What? What? Plant a tree. Do I need a green thumb? No, it's easy. Planting a tree is great fun and a good way to keep the earth green. Think of all the things that trees are good for. Like tree houses. Yeah, trees give us shade on hot summer days. And they provide homes for birds, mammals, and bugs. And if you want to impress somebody, tell them if every family in America just plants one tree, over a billion pounds of greenhouse gases will be removed from the air every year. That's a lot of gas. Get growing! Did you know that plants, animals, and people all depend on each other? Trees make the air that we breathe and we exhale the carbon dioxide that trees need to survive. Does that mean we're all airheads? Every plant, no matter how big or small, helps keep the air cleaner and the earth greener. Fresh! If you want to find out more about growing plants, ask your local librarian to help you find a book about gardening. Also, there are parks, nurseries, and gardens you can visit. Ask the people that work there to answer any questions that you might have. Is that all? Okay, here's the main thing. To keep it green, you have to educate yourself. Watch TV shows about the environment. Reading books, magazines, and newspapers is good too. And remember, we're all people of the forest. And it takes all of us together to keep our earth green.